Hello people, welcome back. This is a question from gate 2007. This one is also for two marks. So let us just see what they're asking. They have given you these four statements. They are Boolean expressions and they're asking which of the following is not equivalent to this given function f. Okay, they have specified all the min terms of f. Let's analyze these functions. You can see q and r are similar. How? See, this term is present as it is, this term is present as it is, and these two, x, y, z, x, y bar z, can be minimized to x, z. I have done that here. See, we have taken x, z common, and we are left with y plus y bar, okay? y plus y bar is 1, you obviously know that. That means, these two can be simplified to x, z, okay? So, these two are equal to x, z. That means, Q and R are equivalent to each other, okay? Which also means if any option contains Q, it has to contain R and vice versa, okay? So option B says Q and S, that means Q and S are not equivalent to this given function. But we also know R is equivalent to Q. If Q is not equal to F, then R can also not, uh, can also not be equal to F. So this function can be rejected because it contains Q but does not contain R. For similar reason, this one can also be rejected. It says R and S both are not equal to F. But if R is not equal to F, Q will also not be equal to F because they are same, Q and R are same. So this option can also be rejected. Now the confusion is between option A and option D which is P and S. Let's first of all fill this k-map. It is 0, 4, 0, 4, 5, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then you have 9, 13, and 15. So 8, 9, 15 is here, and 13. 10, 11, 12, sorry. 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is here. Okay, so this is the k-map that we get. Now let's fill k-map for P and verify if both the k-maps are same or not. P is x bar y bar z. So y bar z means this, these four columns, okay, or these four cells y bar z is done, let's find out x bar. So x is 0 in these four as well as these four. Okay, so the intersection is this much. Let's move on to the second term which is w bar x y bar. So w bar x means these four w bar x and y bar. So y bar means these two, okay. y is 0 for all of these 8 and w is 0 as well as x is 1 for these 4. So you can see intersection is this much, okay. The third term is w y bar z. w y bar z. First of all, let's see y bar z. It is this one. y is 0, z is 1 and we need w is equal to 1. So w will be 1 for both of these. Okay. So intersection is this much. Okay. Uh, intersection of these and these 8. Okay, so both of these columns. The third term is x, z. So x must be 1 as well as z must be 1. You can see it will be these 8, uh, sorry, these 4 cells. The 4 cells in the middle. Okay, these ones. How? See, x is 1 for all of these 8 and z is 1 for all of these 8. Okay. Their intersection is uh, these 
middle four cells. So the K map is exactly same. That means P is actually equal to the given function. So this one cannot be the answer. The only option left is option S. Okay. Now there are many methods of solving this one. First one is, uh, the other method is, you can just expand uh, this given uh, expression and find out all the min terms. That is very similar to finding out min terms using the K-map. Okay. And uh, there's one more method. What you can do is, you can just minimize the given function. Okay. So let's do that also. If you minimize it, see, a group of four can be formed here. Now to uh, include these two, you can form a group like this and a group like this. Okay. So let's minimize it and see which one of these will we get. So this group means XZ. We have already seen it. XZ. So these middle uh, four cells, they are XZ. Now let us find what is this. This corresponds to W X bar, W X bar and Y bar. Okay, because for both of these cells, W is 1, X is 0 and Y is also 0. Okay, now let's see what is this one. It will be W bar, Y bar, Z bar w bar y bar z bar okay you can see q is similar to f see f when minimized comes out to be this which is exactly same as q w bar y bar z bar we have it here the next one is w x bar y bar we have it here and x z x z okay so both of them must be equivalent to uh, this given function which is f now if you try to minimize this k map in some other way you will still get one of these okay so let's see if it's possible see these four are grouped and then you group both of them similarly from here also you group both of them and group both of them. Now this one is not the preferred method of grouping. You always prefer such a method. Here you are getting less terms. Okay. See, 1, 2 and 3. You will get 3 terms for these only. And this group of 4 is same in both of the K maps. So this one is the preferred method. Why am I doing this uh, method of grouping? Just to see if one of them is equal or not. Okay, so you will get P from here. If you minimize this one, you will get P. Okay, so we have seen these two are equal to given F, uh, function F. P is also equal to given function F. Only S is left. So your answer is S. That is option D, S only. Okay.